Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in for this weekly message with me. Um, please take whatever resonates and leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message, not a personal. If you would like a personal, that information is listed in the description of this video on how to book a personal with me. Um, for those who are new to the channel, I am a psychic medium. So when I do your personal readings, I do not use any cards or any tools as shown in live readings here in YouTube. Um, I have many, many videos that go years back here and also Facebook. You can look into reviews and also look into the About Me section so you can get a glimpse on how I read and what I can pick up, which is so much information. Um, and yeah, and this week I am doing y'all weekly. Um, I'm combining all 12 zodiac signs and one while I'm reading, as you can see. Uh, but in the comments, I will timestamp each zodiac sign. Also, in the timestamps, you will have a title by each zodiac sign. So, if the title uh, resonate with you and maybe that's not your sign, still check it out because you may have a message there. And due to energy, how it crossed and everything, that's why. That's just how it worked. Um, also, look into all 12 zodiac signs. Um, I mean, look into all your signs, your placements, your moon, your rising, your Venus, your north node, south node, um, as well. Just look into it. Um, if it's not your message, you, as soon as you click on it, you would know, okay, if this is yours or not. All right. But let's get into it. I'm going to start with Aries. Aries, spirit, please show us a message for Aries. Aries, what is Aries' message at this time for this week? Please show us a message for Aries. 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 Let it come out, spirit. All right, what else for Aries? There could be communication issues, electronic issues, um this time for someone you have a guardian angel that's watching over you um, assisting you some of you could be going through a split up breakup divorce um, or you and you and a partner may not be speaking on speaking terms right now someone could be a narcissist okay someone is way too full of themselves there could be a pregnancy as well for someone be a pregnancy or it could be um this could be someone you have a child with children with that could be an art um let's get a message for aries show us a message for aries spirit show us more on this energy for aries yeah you could be having car complications vehicle uh a phone computer laptop um, it could definitely be electronic issues for you at this time. Or just you having issues with communicating. Show us a message for Aries. Aries. We have time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in a moment, having fun. So yeah, some of you are going through a divorce, a split up, a breakup. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call a person, boundaries. Someone is still angry. Let's get one more for Aries. We have meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So maybe you could, you could be meeting with a friend, someone who uplift you, or you just feel uplifted with just surrounding yourself with other people outside of the situation. We do have separation, sadness. Um, missing you, thinking about thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Someone is watching. Okay. So whoever is missing someone, there is definitely separation going on for someone here. All right. And what else, Spirit? For Aries. This is going to be a brief message. Um, I'm just getting the main information for your weekly. I will extend all readings. I will 
extend, or at least the ones that's needed. Um, but I will extend them in Patreon. Show us some extra Aries. Aries. Thank you. Aries. So I'm getting with this narc vibe, this narcissist energy, uh, with the uh, communication issues. You know, someone could could be um, purposely not communicating with you, uh, leaving you on red, or just ignoring you, because that's their their tricks. They think that's what will give them the upper hand. Okay, yeah. Some of you, you could have a child with this person. Um, some of you, this could be a child. I mean, for some of you, maybe it is. It could be a child that's a narcissist thing you're going through. But it's not a small child, of course. This is a, a older child, so this could be an adult. Or this could be, um, if it's not you per se, this could be uh, someone in your energy that's experiencing this. But show us more. Some of you look like you got new love coming in. Show us more on this energy for Aries. Some of you could be dealing with the air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They're slow to communicate. So someone is definitely, like, purposely not communicating. It does something to them. It would make them feel empowered or something. What else, Spirit? Yeah, it's like someone purposely not, instead of being an adult, being an adult, and just talking it out. It's like someone is like, oh, I'm I'm gonna be cold. I'm just not gonna talk. <laughs> like, okay, don't talk to me dear. Fine. <laughs> Show us more. Yeah. All right. So it looked like fast action is about to be taken out of this situation. It looked like someone is uh so what could be waiting for their ships to come in? Like who whoever is waiting. Yeah, someone, either someone could be waiting on you or you're waiting on this person. So it, it definitely seemed like two situations going on here. But let's get more on this Page of Cups or Aries, Page of Cups. Let's get more on the Page of Cups spirit. Page of Cups. Death. Yeah, some of you may be uh, going into a new connection, possibly with the Scorpio. Yeah, you have new love with this person. If it's not a Scorpio, it's just... Someone that you don't want to end it with because we have death in reverse. So this is definitely um, an ending that you don't want to have, but it's a new beginning. An ending with a new beginning with the Page of Cups. So I don't know. Some of you could be coming into connection with someone else after you end things with this situation. Show us more on the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Some of you, you could be, for some of you, the split up, break up, divorce. You don't even have to necessarily be, like, in a relationship. I mean, well, it's still a relationship some type of way. But this could be, like, say, for instance, this is a child's father. Um, you know, due to, like, someone wants to have that control, want to whatever. So you got to cut that off. You know, that's the relationship. You got to cut that off. Um, even if you're not technically together, but this person still has some type of control over you or trying to, um, or baby, baby father, baby mother, however this is for you. But, um, someone definitely needs to like cut someone out the picture or just like, yeah, remove. Yeah. Someone needs to do that because someone is a narcissist anyway. Like you don't want to deal with that, especially if they're not in recognition of what they are and they're not trying to work on it, heal it. And yeah, if they're in denial and they just do, doing these petty games and playing with you and trying to control you, then yeah, it's time for you to release this. Yes, it's time to close this cycle out. Show us one more on the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords for Aries. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. The Moon and the Temperance. So, yeah, I feel like this person is... is some, th something is wrong mentally. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to... 
I feel like in this person's mind, they feel like this is right. The right thing to do is to uh, go cold, go distant on you, not talk, and they talk when they want to talk. Or that's not, that's not, that's not right. You know, um, so someone may need some type of counseling or something, but uh, they're secretly feeling like this is what's going to balance it out with you. What? What? <laughs> uh, come again? Mm -mm. No, it's not. It's like I'm going to give a little bit. I'm going to talk to you when I'm ready. That's what this is. I'm going to talk to you when I'm ready. So, yeah, that's exactly what this is. Like, I'm going to talk to you when I'm ready. So, unexpectedly, this person come out and they want to talk to you again. The tower. What's the tower? Ooh, what did I just say? So, out the blue, like, unexpectedly, they come out. Okay, I'm ready to talk. He's like, well, where were you when I was trying to talk to you? Yeah. So someone need to shut it down, okay? Disregard this energy because someone needs some healing. That's exactly what this is. So it's time to close out a cycle. It's slow. It's not. It's not. It, it's not going anywhere. It's not sure, showing me too much detail right now due to why this is ending between you and someone. But I mean, clearly they're a narcissist. That's enough right there. But um, as far as what they did outside of their communication issues, yeah. Someone definitely have communication issues and someone needs to release this. Uh, whether you need to release this um, or they need to release this. Well, you both need to release it. <laughs> but I feel like, of course, the narc is, they're not, they're not going to be the one to want to release it. Once you put action towards it, then they'll be wanting to be action oriented. They're going to want to uh, release it too because they want to have the power, the control and say, oh, I released you. Yeah. Something like that is going on. Okay. Someone could be uh, in a connection with a um, Gemini or uh, Aquarius. Someone is just trying to keep someone stuck or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But uh, it looks like someone is about to move. Either move or, um, yeah, just release this. Mm hmm. That's what's needed. That's what they're telling you to do. They're saying divorce, split up, break up, divorce, separation. If this is not your message, you're in a happy marriage, then this is just not your message. Please don't ruin your marriage, okay? But you will know what your situation is. You know what your situation is. So you will know if this apply to it. If it don't, let it fly. Let it fly, Aries. But I'm going to end this off with... Um, or a message. Please show us a message for Aries. Aries. All right, Aries. We have have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see. See, and that could be the new love situation that you could be going into. Also, don't let this uh, energy of the narcissist rub off on you. Like, I'm getting like, okay, so this person is not communicating. They don't know how to communicate with you, okay? Or they're on and off, or this is how they control you with when I want to talk, I talk. If I don't, I don't. Um, don't let that rub off on you, and you end up bringing that into a new connection because you do have a new connection here. So it's like, uh, because this person shut down on you, you start to shut, you start to shut down um a lot with others you know so you're gonna have to make sure you cleanse you cleanse this energy fully before you step into a new one because it definitely look like um you do have a new connection that's um coming up for some of you if you this is you like no nah, i would never do that then you have no worries um but if this still rub you the wrong way it could you could have a tendency to I don't know. If you still bothered by how this person treated you or treats you or whatever from time to time, just make sure you heal. After every connection, you need to heal. You never want to just jump into a new one right away because, yeah. Do your healing so you can have a brand new, beautiful beginning. All right, Aries, moving on to Taurus. All right, Taurus. 
Spirit, please show us a message for Taurus. Taurus. Oh. Okay. Show us more for Taurus. Some of you need to have faith in your guardian angels. It's like, I don't know, you're not, it's like, um, either you're not giving them enough uh, recognition, you're not um, appreciating the work that they have done, like, you definitely got to show your gratitude every day, um, but it just seemed like you're disregarding or you're overlooking them or something like that um i have never and some i normally wouldn't even take these cards in reverse but for the guardian angel to come up in reverse it's really giving me that vibe so i do feel like and also just what i'm picking up um someone here definitely need to show more recognition to your ancestors your your loved ones um on the other side, your your angels, you know, you need to really appreciate because they're always working for us. Um, maybe because something is taking too long, or um, something went wrong, or you know, like okay, what's going? On? Like I don't know what 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 is causing this, but for you, what I'm getting, they're wanting you to show more gratitude. Okay. Um, Maybe it could just be today. Maybe it's just been lately. Maybe you used to show more gratitude or, you know, faithfully um, believe and have faith that they're they're working this out, you know. But something, I don't know, it could be kind of like here and here, like up and down. So just make sure you keep that, you know, balance. Uh, you could uh, be dealing with someone at a distance. Uh, this person could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, if you're dealing with them on a romantic letter, that uh, letter, <laughs> maybe someone want to write you a letter or you them <laughs> um, or a message. But uh, yeah, you could be dealing with someone rather romantically or platonic. It doesn't matter. Um, but it, there is a water sign at a distance from you. Um, some of you could have let go of a fire sign. Uh, you could have broke up. Yeah, it was a it was a third party situation, or it was always third parties, <laughs> like something like that. There's it's a fire sign, so it could have been an Aries, it could have been a Leo or a Sagittarius, um, or they had these uh, placements, whether they're rising, their moon, possibly their Venus, but um, if it wasn't their sun. But yeah, it was definitely a, a, an experience, and someone experienced a breakup with a fire sign. Um, someone got in the middle of the connection or this person allowed it to happen. They cheated, whatever. Um, for some of you, it could be the person that they were dealing with that could have been a fire sign. So, but anyway, that's old news. I guess they just wanted to bring that up for someone to, you know, I guess let you know, yeah, that's my message. <laughs> but that's old news. We're going to leave that there. Let's see more on this information spirit. Show us a message for uh, Taurus. Taurus. They could be trying to resurface. That could be why the energy is here too. Normally that is what it is. Spirit, please show us a message for Taurus. 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 Alright, abundance. You need to keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss. Didn't I just say the beginning of your reading? That's why I follow what I'm guided. I, I follow my intuition and I follow just my feelings. Like when I got this card, normally these cards I would take in the upright. But the way it came out and just the instant energy, that's what I was getting. So they're advising you, hey, keep a positive mindset. Show gratitude, okay? Because that is how you attract way more abundance. So you have so much that could be coming in. More could be coming into you. Once you uh, get back on track with that, it's more and more and more. Okay. Um, what else? Some of you need to make healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Okay. What else for Taurus? Yeah, because you were stabbed in the back. 
okay? There was definitely heartbreak, pain. It was a separation because someone was deceptive. Yeah, they could. it could have shocked the heck out of you, but um, that could have been the energy of the past, which is why, okay, they brought that up because the energy is here. But you were stabbed in the back from this situation. Um, maybe that caused you some um, in and outs due to keeping faith and um, knowing everything would be all right. But as you can see, like whatever this uh, betrayal was, you're still progressing, right? Let's get one more. Um, we have watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So someone definitely could be watching you. Um, yeah, someone could be watching you. Stalking you or you are. Take it however it resonates. Um, so, yeah. We have a girl with a snake, empath, and narcissist. So being charmed or use enable boundaries. Someone needs to enable boundaries because someone is definitely a narc. I'm so tired of hearing that. But it is what it is. That's what's showing. That's what came out. So some of you could have been dealing with the narcissist. All right. Show us more on this energy for Taurus. Taurus. Taurus spirit. Taurus. Wow. A lot of success is coming your way. Um, you just got to find balance and how you're going to, you know, be able to do everything. Cause it just looked like a lot of good opportunities is about to come in recognition for, uh, you know, your talent job well done due to your work, like whatever it is, your is, is successful. Um, but you just have to figure out, okay, how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna do this and do that. They're not saying you can't do it all cause you can, but just, you need to find a balance, like how, so you can keep yourself in a happy place. Let's get one more. You may need to keep some things to yourself, though, Taurus, because maybe you're sharing some news, and yeah, because the Six of Wands is like everyone recognition, but with the moon here, it's like, hmm, do I really want to share that? Because you do have a stalker, you do have someone watching you, trying to see everything you're doing. I know you're like, well, I don't care, shoot. I want them to see my success. Yeah, that's great and all, but not if they're an enemy, and especially spiritually. You don't want to deal with that. You don't need nobody in your business. Keep You notice the most, most, of, most things that you keep to yourself become more successful. Things that you just let everybody know. Uh, especially before you get it off the ground, it end up crumbling. So that's some advice for you, okay? So here go the Nine of Swords. Stress and anxiety. Um, someone definitely could be blaming themselves, possibly about, uh, I don't know, just letting go of something. Maybe you have to let go of something. Let's see more. Spirit, show us more on the Six of Wands. For Taurus. Six of Wands for Taurus. Six. Whoa. Okay. So if you're moving to a new home um, or even having a new union, it's going to be very successful. Show us more on the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it's just, they're wanting you to find an equal give and take. How can you, um, how can you do everything? How can you, uh, have this great new start in the business? And how can you have this great new start in a union? You could do both. You just got to find a balance. But yeah, there's, that's all they're telling you to do is make sure you find a balance. You know, give, give yourself to this and give yourself to that and give yourself to that equally. All right. Show us more on the moon. The moon for Taurus. The moon is clarified. Yeah. Mm hmm. What I just tell you the moon with the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. At the bottom, the Devil and the Seven of Swords. Like I said, keep some things to yourself. Your praises. Like, I don't know, whatever success. Because, and it's, it's crazy because I know it's like, dang. Who don't want to share your, you know, their success? But when you have someone in your energy like this, um, that's pretty much plotting on your downfall. 
okay? Or there's a Taurus out there that's plotting on someone's downfall. Take it however it resonates. But um, this is a no-go. They're saying you're going to have to uh, pretty much protect your new beginning. That's what this is. It's not, it's not hold, you know, hold it back, but protect it. This protection could be you just um, given only so much information. Um, or you just not sharing it until you actually fulfill that. Because maybe it's something that you receive and then you, you give that information out before you actually start. You know? So... Within that time frame of you, um, before you start it, it can't be interrupted. So they're saying protect your new beginnings. You have a, a new job or financial opportunity that's coming up, Taurus. Protect it, okay? Because you do have a... It's crazy. You have a, you have a stalker. You have a snake. It could be... A, for some of you, it could be the same sex. For some of you, it could be the opposite sex. Some of you, for some of you, this is someone that you dated, that you broke up with, divorced, or something like that. Um, but I actually feel like for some of you is, is both genders. So you could have a hating ex-friend or a hating, uh, ex-lover. Okay. Take it however it resonates, but you just need to protect it. But the, the devil is lurking. Okay. The devil is lurking, ready to plot. Like they're plotting already. They already got, they already know that they, it already know what they're about to do. That's why spirit is like, no, nah, protect this. Protect what's yours. This is yours. We're giving you this gift, but we need you to protect it by keeping it a secret. Okay. All right. Or else you're going to be in this energy. Wow. Five of cups with the eight of pentacles. You better listen. Your intuition is telling you this. Or or uh, maybe you. this could be your... your yeah, your intuition is telling you if you, or you need to follow your intuition, okay? Don't overlook it. But this could be causing some grief due to some work. Like, dang, I put in all that work and and now I'm not getting it. Or I did all that and just to be, like, whatever this is, it's like it's some sorrow after. But you, that's because you you put it out there or you you told, maybe it's not... You know, you told many people. You could have just told one person. And this one person is really your enemy. Okay? Um, but just be careful on... But I'm getting many, though. I am getting many. So I don't know how that many is. Maybe you made an announcement to your family. Maybe you made an announcement on social media. Or maybe uh, you told just, you know, your friend group. But it's one person out that friend group that's the snake. So just keep that in mind, okay? Your main message is to keep your your <laughs> keep your success and abundance under wraps. That's what this is. Okay. Yeah, that's what this is. Um, let me give you one more and show us a message for Taurus. Taurus. Too. Yes, Taurus, you are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all inhabitants. And you have, you are flying high right now, which may threaten others. But don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. So, yes, Taurus, um, that's definitely giving me the energy, the vibes of the snake, the, or, you know, your stalkers or whatever. Um, that's watching you. They're feeling threatened, you know. Um, but just keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up on it. Even when you come into an obstacle, um, Maybe because you have already exposed what it is that you, you're you wanting to do. That's just like um, you want to buy a home and your dream is to buy a home. But then you share with everyone before you actually get into buying a home. And next thing you know, things go left. You can't buy the home. Some come up where it causes an interruption. The interruption is <laughs> the people you told. So keep it on a quiet until you close. That's how you do things. Speaking from experience, okay? You, that's how you do things. 
But, um, yeah, that's all I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, until next week. Or if you want to join Patreon for more readings, you could definitely do that. Join us over there. That information is in the description. All right. Many blessings. Hey, Gemini. Let's jump into your message. Let's see what's going on for you, Gemini. Gemini Spirit, please show us a message for Gemini. 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 Someone else is in the middle. Open up your heart. Follow your intuition. The red flags are... The red flags... You ignore now will come back to bite later. Alright. Hmm. So they're saying someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. So I feel like they're saying follow your intuition about that. So maybe a part of you want to just let go of this connection. But then a part of you is like, nah, I shouldn't. This, that won't be right. It's not. Yeah, I feel like you know. Maybe you got a, You may know of who this third party is that's trying to interfere. Whether your ex, their ex. But also it could be like situations that's going on. And you're wondering, like, what is going on? It's because the third party could be sending energy your way. So just know that, okay? But they're saying to open up your heart. So it's basically, I'm getting like it is safe for you to love with this situation. Let's get more on this. Or maybe it's some, someone that you want. But they could be, I don't know. They're telling you to move on from an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or this maybe you have already, but someone could be trying to invite you on a vacation. They want a commitment, but then you're going to break up. So, yeah, this is not consistent. It's not going to be a consistent relationship. So, I mean, if you want to on and off again with the earth sign, then it, then so be it. Um, Because that's what it's showing. Now, for some of you... Maybe, and it just depends, because it could be one earth sign that's not meant for you, and another earth sign is, but I don't know. Yeah. They're saying follow your intuition about that situation, so maybe you got the third party, or this person got the third party, and the third party could be an earth sign. Show us a message for Gemini. Gemini spirit, what is the message for Gemini? Karmic relationship. Mm-hmm. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Yeah, it was a karmic relationship. Whoever is this third party, whoever is trying to get in the middle, it could be a girl with a snake, so it could be a female um, for some. Some, it could be a male. You know, it could be the boy with the snake as well. But empath and narcissist, uh, being charmed or used. Enable boundaries. Yeah. And we have relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth so yes you guys it looked like you're um ascending to another wow <laughs> you're going into another connection but you have ascending here transcendent obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union so yeah you're preparing for union this other person got to go <laughs> whether on your end or their end let's get more on this energy for gemini yeah, this uh, snake is trying to ruin y'all relationship. Y'all new, new union or returning union, whatever this is. Show us a message for Gemini. 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 I just heard fire sign. So some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. It's, uh, either Aries, Leo, or uh, Sagittarius. We have Page of Swords here. Yeah, someone is, is watching, stalking. Show us more. Whoever this is, is competition. So, it's, yeah, look over your shoulder, the other woman or man. Show us more.
They trying to see your new beginning. What you got going on. Who you doing it with. Yeah. They're trying to um, see what your new beginning is about. It looks like it's very healing, Gemini. It's very good. Your ships is coming in. You're going into the Ten of Cups. Um, happy union. Love. Fulfillment and love. This is your judgment. Okay? This is your judgment. You got good judgment. But someone is a hater. You got someone that's spying, wanting to interrupt who you love or what you, whatever this is. That's, yeah, it's a, it's a union. This person is wanting to interrupt you, whether your ex or their ex. Show us more on the Page of Swords. Page of Swords for Gemini. Yeah, they're spying on, on your, they're spying on your success with this person. They're spying on how successful it is so they can try to ruin it. Or they're spying to see, have you started this new connection um, or who you're going towards. They just want to see what's successful for you so they can ruin it. They want to see your new path, your new journey now because you're blocking them. Okay, so you're standing your ground or this person is. Let's get more on the Five of Wands. Could be a Leo. Show us Five of Wands. Clarify with the Nine of Swords in reverse. So I feel like someone is releasing the stress and anxiety from this, uh, from this third party. Someone could have been real stressed out due to having to be in competition. But I feel like your intuition guided you to let you know, okay, that's karmic. I don't have no worries with that. Only thing is, I just got to defend myself, protect myself, protect this union. Or that's what they're telling you to do. Show us more on the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles clarify with the Ten of Cups. You guys, it's beautiful. So, just protect your union. Okay? Yeah. Protect it. That's all, Gemini. Because... It's someone that's spying, trying to interfere. Yeah, someone could have a child um, with this person, either a Leo child or a Gemini child, or it could be a, a, a Virgo. Um, yeah, someone someone got a child with this person, or, or children, however this is, but someone is a karmic, and they don't want to see you do well with no one else. Okay? All right, Gemini, that is it for you. Um, until next time, any blessings? Wait a minute, Gemini, I'm so sorry. You get another message. Show us a message for a Gemini. Forgot to give you an oracle message. Show us a message for a Gemini. All right, Gemini, spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. All right, so some of you need some time alone. Um, for some of you, the union that you're coming into, it may be later. You may not even know what this, who this person is. For some of you, you know who this person is. It just haven't came together yet. For some of you, you're in this union and you need to protect it now. All right. All right, Cancer, Cancer Spirit, please show us a message for Cancer, 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 Cancer. All right, it's a narc that's doing love spells on someone. Show us a message, vacation. Someone may want to take a vacation or <laughs> someone trying to do spell. <laughs> Listen here. Someone trying to do spell work on someone so they can fall in love with them, take vacation trips with them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So they can commit to them. Oh, my gosh. Someone is in the middle. This could be the person that's doing the spell work or this is you. Take it however. <laughs> I don't know, Cancer, but this is it's kind of quite comical. It's funny. Um, mm -mm. Yeah, someone could be way too full of themselves. But someone is being bewitched. Like someone know someone felt like, oh, I got them. I know. Like I don't know. Someone could be way too full of themselves for sure. Show us 
Separation. This is someone, yeah, separation. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So this is someone that someone is in separation with. Show us more. Um, be lighthearted, finding out, things come into light, adapt, change, and heal. So maybe you're healing now from the love spell, from, from this. Um, maybe you have already encountered this person. Uh, you could have been all uh, googly eyes with this person and realized like things start changing. That's because you start seeing the truth. Or this person did. They could have been a chaser. Um, this person may fear uh, like losing you or something like that or or not having that control because it's an art, you know. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person is going to be trying to contact you, call you, express their love. But I feel like you don't want to talk to them because they cause some heartbreak, some pain. Um, and I feel like you separated from this person. It ended or need to end. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation. Um, healing from heartbreak, freedom from from toxic relationships or addictions. And then, boom, that's where you have Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, and invitation, or meet and hesitation. A union, wedding, marry, soul, con soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise, passion. Wow. Okay, soulmates. Some of you, yeah, you're about to get into a real uh, promising connection okay but yeah so this could be the commitment that you're about to come into but there's a third party that's trying to interfere okay yeah they don't want to see you happy that been coming up in the reading someone could be dealing with um a gemini was a yeah gemini show us a message for cancer cancer some of you, yeah, you could have, this could have been your recent ex or your ex before. Like, this could be an ex ex. This don't have to be, but however. Take it however it resonates. But you definitely have a commitment coming in. Show us more. Oh, it's very spiritual. Higher friend, the tempers here. Mm hmm. Or someone is seeing you as this, like, and they want to hold on. Oh, so did someone realize what they lost and they want to hold on to you by doing spell work and it's not working, at least not anymore. <laughs> Show us more. Um, let's switch decks. Yeah, so it's like someone don't want to let go. Show us more on this energy. Someone could be dealing with the Taurus or a Sagittarius. Dang, card. All right. Show us more on the higher front for Cancer. The Empress. Yeah, someone is realizing. Cancer, someone is realizing how it's like <laughs> you're golding. You're golden, I'm hearing. That was random, like, because I wasn't expecting that one. But you're golden. So, I don't... They may look at you as treasure. Like, oh, my gosh. The Empress and the Hierophant. That's you. That's your energy. Someone is like, wait. Someone could have separated from someone that... Maybe they overlook. They overlook you. But some, it's like the angels is forcing this person to see. To see you for who you are now. And that's their, that's their karma. It's like. This could be an ex of yours that you are, or this don't even have to be like long term. This could be just someone you dealt with and they mishandled you. They mistreated you or something. Show us more on the temperance. The temperance. 
So now they want to hold on to you because they're viewing you as an angel. They're viewing you as, uh, as this temperance. Like you bring balance into their life. So they want to try to hold, hold you back. Or, yeah, hold. If they can't hold on to you, like, as in be with you, they're going to hold, they're, they're trying to hold you back from being with anyone else. That's what this message is about. Show us more on the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you got a, you got the Four of Pentacles in this reading twice. And I did mention Gemini, and Gemini energy is here. Why did I mention Gemini? I don't know. Maybe they said it. they had to because it's not it's not on the table. There's no nothing here. Okay, so uh yeah, someone is holding on real tightly, okay? A Gemini could be doing more magic on you, or you're doing more magic on this Gemini, <laughs> or there's some type of um secrecy due to some magic here, okay. However, whichever the sign is, don't have to be a Gemini, but it's another lover. Um, it could be an Aquarius or Aries that's doing this. It's like someone is wanting Show me more on the moon. Jess is gonna be served though due to this due to like if there was an interruption with the connection and it was done um It was done uh, in deception. You're receiving justice for that ending. Okay. Someone could be dealing with a Libra. Or you could be ending things with a Libra. And you need to set your boundaries. Stand your ground with this person. It could be some sadness and regret here. Due to the ending. But it's looking like someone need to work on self. Um... There could be an ending due to a legal situation as well. And you may need to set boundaries. Maybe with this person or this person need to set boundaries with you. Someone could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, some of you will be receiving justice with the Scorpio. It just, yeah... Let me get more on the moon for uh, cancer. Show us more on the moon for cancer. The moon is clarified with the eight of cups. Someone is walking away. Show us more. Someone may need to walk away from doing any type of spell work. That's what they're t that's what they're saying. So if someone is doing spell work, they're t they're warning someone to walk away. If uh, yeah. Whether they doing this to you or you doing this to them. They're wanting you to walk away. Because. Or they're just warning someone to walk away from this person. Period. Like regardless. Yeah. Someone is like paying someone to assist them. And this is going to blow up horribly. It's like. Yeah. Someone is wanting uh, a passion in the beginning. But. Yeah, it's a group. A group of people could be doing this. This group going to fail horribly. Um, whoever this is is doing this. It's not going to last and it's going to hurt everyone in different ways. So they're, for, they're warning someone to stop. Especially if this person or this is you coming up in this energy. Very godly. Okay. Very spiritual. Okay. You're highly protected. Divinely protected. Or this person is. So yeah, they're for warning someone to stop trying to do spell work on you love potion number nine this could have happened in the past and there is someone receiving a karma now it could be health issues it could be blockages however it is however spirit want to cause it you know cause this Karma, how, however, this karma is going to hit this person. I don't know and I really don't care. It's just going to hit them though. Alright, schooling, study, and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. So, maybe picking up a new skill, a trade, 
um, learning something new or just, you know, reading up information or whatever this is. This could be your health as well. Um, this could be like something that you want to do uh, pertaining to money, okay? And you're like, oh, you know, I always want to do that. I feel like I, I can do that or whatever. Do it, you know, whatever this is. Um, so that is that, Cancer. I'm going to leave that there for you. If you want to follow me on Patreon for more readings, you could definitely do that. If not, I'll see you next week for your weekly. Until then, many blessings. All right, Leo. Spirit, please show us a message for Leo. What is the message for Leo at this time? Leo. Leo. All right, we have communication. We have communicate and caution. What else for Leo? All right, someone is still trying to figure themselves out. This could be sexuality. Um, maybe someone is not too sure of themselves. Like, which you know, what do they prefer? Now, for some of you, this could be, if it's not sexuality, this could just be still trying to figure yourself out. Do I want a long-term relationship? Do I want to be single? Do I still want to, you know, yeah, because someone could be dealing with multiple lovers or, yeah. Someone could be dealing with the air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. If this isn't you, this could be them or this could be whoever you're dealing with. Uh, but they're telling someone to be cautious because maybe... Someone is still trying to figure themselves out. That's why they're telling you to be cautious. I want to give my all into this situation. You may need to communicate, get more on the table so you can have a better understanding of how this is going to go or where this should go. Mm -hmm. All right, Leo. Spirit, show us a message for Leo. All right, we have the chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So if you're chasing after someone that, if they're, listen, once they, if they're running, you go the opposite way. Like, don't chase because our angels is helping us with this situation. You know, when they, when they, if they're running, that means spirit is helping you with disconnecting from that person. So just understand it that way. Look at it that way. No need to chase, okay? Not at all. Um, I know you're like, well, I ain't chasing. Or no, I ain't chasing. <laughs> However it is for you, okay? If you're being realistic with yourself, then hey. Like, yeah, you know what? I need to just leave that alone. Um, but it could be the other person that's chasing after you or whatever. But someone um, needs to realize, like, hey, let them go. Just let them go. All right, show, show, just shoot. You show me one sign, or you tell me you don't. Okay, have a good life. I wish you the best. Um, focus on self, self worth, time to heal, shadow work, self appreciation. Yes, yeah, someone needs to focus on themselves. Don't chase. We have happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Yay. So, I feel like you're just going to be enjoying friendships, family, things like that. Like, you could be uh, you could be going into a new connection as well. I'm not really getting that, though. And plus, they need you to do some self-indulgence. They need you to indulge in yourself. Yeah, there could be a split up, break up, a divorce. Someone could have been all about the money. Not so much about the love, okay? Um... Show us more on this energy for Leo. 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 So I could drive a red car or a blue car. 
All right, we have the three of swords. Someone is heartbroken. Listen, for some of you, let me help you. Heal your heart right now. Because I'm telling you, please, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a give you both scenarios, though. But I'm getting a situation where, okay, this is a breakup. Um, maybe you didn't want it to break up like this. Or um, you knew it was rocky, but however, it came to the point where someone left. Okay? Whether you want to chase her in, no, let's fix this, let's work this out, and you constantly trying, but this person not putting in effort, leave it be. Because that is your guys helping you out of this situation. Leave it be. Do not try to overextend yourself because it's, just, it's, it's pointless, it's worthless. And if you continue to do that and this person finally say, okay, and then you go back in a, in a, a messy connection, an unhealthy connection, and then you back in the same boat later down the line. Like, no, why continue to deal with a situation that you know is unhealthy? That's that's because someone have a fear of abandonment. Um, and that's why you have to do your inner healing. You have to work on yourself. Um, maybe, you know, that always stems from when we are children. You know, maybe you are abandoned from uh, childhood. You could have been abandoned from your parents, abandoned from, or your first love, you know, that started stem from there. But you have to understand that once that situation, once it's gone, once it leave your life, it's for a reason. You know, it's definitely for a reason. And they want you to focus on yourself, your self-healing. Um, let this situation go. You're going to see later, if it's not even sooner, but you're going to see why this needed to end. For some of you, it's because this person, they could have been saving you from this person because they could be um, into the same sex. And they weren't truthful. The communication, that's why they say communicate, the communication wasn't clear enough. They didn't tell you. Maybe you had thoughts or whatever, but this person didn't directly tell you. Or, as for some of you, that's not the case for everybody's situation, so please. <laughs> no need. Um, but... For some, this could be just them dealing with multiple lovers and they just didn't want to settle down with you but couldn't tell you this. And they just flee. They went on. Because they have some inner child issues as well. And that's why it comes into adulthood. So, with that being said, however this is, whatever reason they left, if they weren't able to sit down and have a, a, a genuine conversation with you on their reasoning of leaving... It don't even matter. Just let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Show us more on this energy for Leo. We have, okay. The moon came out and went back in, but then when ju judgment came out. So, someone is going through a spiritual awakening here. Um, this breakup could be harsh, you know. Maybe, you know, you, you really love this person. Yeah, it looked like you need to cut all ties and don't allow this person to try to bring in a love offer again. Because they place you in competition, whether the competition is uh, their ex-lover or the baby mother or baby father or um, or just dealing with random people. Like this person may just deal with numerous people. Like I said, some is into the same sex. But yeah, woof. Yeah, someone is just not. They not for you. And that's why spirit pushing this person away. That could be spirit like, nah, get gone. You ain't even got to say nothing. Just go. <laughs> pushing this person away. Like, and you're like, dang, I need closure. No, your closure is them leaving without talking to you. That's your closer. closure. Now you know that this person is just wasn't for you. Because why in the heck would they just leave you like that? Yeah. Or maybe you did this. Take it however it resonates. Either way, it's healing that needs to be had. <laughs> um, someone took things for granted with you. Don't allow this energy back in. Leo, whoever this is, I feel like I'm speaking to you. It's like, okay, we're going to do it again. We're going to try this again. We're going to do this again. We're going to try it again. Like, you keep doing it, and then you keep being dissatisfied. It's definitely dissatisfaction here for a cups. Someone take you for granted, and then they come back in with a love offer. All right, do you accept my apology? Can we talk? Well, they Oh, they aggressive with it, too. Oh, yeah, they competing for this love, but they that's their tricks. That's their tricks, so don't let this person trick trick you. 
Don't let them do that. Let this be done and over. Uh, three of Swords, Spirit. Show us more on the Three of Swords. Whoa. Three of Swords. You want to come out with a... Th yes, Three of Pentacles. It's not working. Do not work. Do not put any work in this situation. Let it go. Like, completely. When we overlook that, or we just go against it, you end up hurt way worse than what you were before and then you look back on it like dang i should have left then yeah or i should have i should never turn back around i should never yeah i should never this and i should never that yeah you shouldn't have. all right um your energy leo or this could be another fire sign but i feel like you're going through an awakening right now you're going through a, a, a spiritual awakening you're definitely um ascending from this situation but you just you have to face the truth. You have to face the truth. Cause the, the ace of swords in reverse is giving me like you're not you're not seeing something clearly. You just someone could be in denial like a mud. Mm. You're gonna have to come out of this denial to save yourself from this heartache. Show us more on the two of swords. Two of swords. Two of swords clarified with death in reverse. Oh Lord. Someone is not wanting to let this end. It's refusing. Someone is refusing an ending. It's like, I don't care. I'm not, I'm, I don't care. I'm going to do what I want to do. Someone is definitely refusing an ending. Not want to hear, not want to see it clearly. Not want to, no. It's like, no, I, this is, this can't end. Yeah. Someone is being foolish here. Someone is being foolish. They need to stop. They need to wake up, or you need to wake up. Whoever this is, I'm speaking of. Someone could be dealing with the uh, Sagittarius. Someone, mother or grandmother, could be here or Leo. Um, I feel like they're trying to give you, trying to give you clarity on this situation. Trying to see, like, open your eyes, <laughs> like, like your spirit guides right there. Like, look, open, open up. We need you to see. <laughs> this ain't it. <laughs> This ain't it. You got something better, okay? But it's gonna definitely down the line because it's, you need some healing here. You need to heal from this situation. Mm -mm. But someone needs to let this go. Someone needs to let this go. Because someone is just, they're not right. They're not right for you. You're not even right because you need to heal your inner self. You're, you're, childhood trauma or issues you know so whatever this is now yeah yeah you guys you just you just gotta heal and the only way that's gonna happen is by leaving this alone we have victory your desire is coming to fruition keep up the good work so your whatever you're desiring you got victory towards it Okay, so if you're, say for instance, you're desiring new love that will treat you better and, you know, be more more straightforward with you, then that's what you're going to have. But you got to let this go. Yep, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet. Yeah, you can't see it yet, but they're about to bring you into this enlightenment. You're about to see this because you're not seeing here. There go the light. Leo, you're ending your reading with the sun. Your energy. Yeah, release whoever this person is. They, uh-uh, they're not. And I'm not saying like, oh, they're a bad person. They're, you know, cruel. They're, no, they just need to heal themselves too. They need to heal. How in the heck y'all gonna have a healthy connection if they're not healed? But I feel like this is not a come like, oh, let's heal each other separately and come back together. I feel like, no, it's just gonna be this person move on with their life. You move on with yours. You heal and you go into something better. That's just what that is. All right. All right, I'm going to leave that there, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in for your weekly. If you want to join us over on Patreon, you could do that for more. Um, if not, just wait for next week reading. 
All right, see y'all later. Many blessings. All right, we are on Virgo. Virgo, Spirit, please show us a message for Virgo. Uh -oh. All right, Virgo. 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 Narcissus and reverse manifest and spell love spell. Mm -mm. Some of you, you need to release this narc. That's what they're saying. Some of you, you have great. Uh, this could be a lover. This could be anyone. This could be a family member, a friend. <laughs> they got to go. Someone been doing spell work on you, or this is you doing spell work on this water sign. <laughs> Take it however it resonates, but let's see more. They manifest in hard. Show us more on this energy. Show us more on this energy for Virgo. 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 Alright, Virgo. We have both. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. So, yeah, there's definitely someone moving on from a water sign that is an art. Okay, heart with the key. Welcome and love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. Okay, and what else? Virgo. Separation. Yeah, sadness. Missing you. Thinking of you. Yearning. Unsure of the future. Addictions. Codependent. Obsession. Possession. Controlling. Has a block. Restraint. That's the person. The addiction is these damn love spells or spell work on you. Mm hmm. But they're telling you to separate your energy from this person. And I feel like this narc is losing control because of this. Because you're separating. You're not feeding into this. You're not sharing your energy with them anymore. So they're losing control. Show us a message for... That's how you got to do. Bye-bye. <laughs> Show us a message for um, Virgo. 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 Ooh, look at that. Someone was trying to keep you binded, but look, they was trying to keep you stuck to them, okay? That's the deception. This could be someone's wife or husband, okay? But the wife that's giving me wife, like, or someone, if it's not a wife, this could be just someone that was in a long-term relationship or you was in a long-term relationship with. It could be a Taurus, a Virgo, a, a, another Virgo, or a Capricorn. But something is fated to change. Something's fated to change for you for a water sign. Maybe you have water placements. What the heck? All right, let's get more. Show us more on the uh. Eight. Wait. Wrong side. Uh, eight of swords, spirit. Show us some message on the eight of swords for Virgo. Yeah, it looked like someone's wife left the situation. Someone was. I mean, or it could be the husband left the situation because yeah, someone's an art. Someone was a narc. They um, was doing love spells. <laughs> Lord. Don't be surprised. Man. Show us more on the Eight of Swords for Virgo. Eight of Swords for Virgo. Why are the cards like this? Eight of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Yeah, they're trying to keep you trapped so you won't get, so you won't have new love. Show us more on the Seven of Swords. Because you walked away, you, you figured out their deceit. You figured out, you figured them out. <laughs> you figured out that they were doing love spells on you. Yeah, that they were doing spell work on you. And 
you walked away and you ain't looking back. Sometimes you gotta do that. Show us more on the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. So this could be you here. Yeah, you figured out some truth. You're like, oh. Oh, that's what you've been doing. Someone figured out some truth on this water sign doing spell work on a lover or you. Take it however it resonates. Yeah, so someone someone figured out some truth and they, they're protecting themselves. Like, oh. <laughs> You've been doing love spells. Yeah, mm-hmm. Someone got the heck on. Show us more on this water sign. Wow. Someone is doing spell work on a... Someone is doing spell work on a for someone to come back they don't want this to end it could be on a scorpio or a virgo or a gemini that's what's going on someone is manifesting a renewal with the scorpio or or with the virgo like yeah it doesn't resonate but it's being protected it's being blocked it's not happening and it won't yeah, it's being blind. Like, what? Someone is just... They need to move on. Show us a message for Virgo. Yep, that's what's going on, y'all. They trying to stop you from getting new love so you can return back to them. That's what a water sign is doing to you. Are you doing this to a water sign? Or what a sign doing this to a water sign. <laughs> what the heck? Y'all got water placements. Uh, this person got water placements. They don't have to be a water sun sign. But for most it is. All right. We got a new romance. Either, in, either with a newcomer or through reunited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. Someone is trying to bring someone back, but I feel like you're going into new love. They're trying to block it or trying to stop it, but that's not going to happen. I mean, it's not going to continue, at least, especially if you stand on your ground, you're setting boundaries, you're blocking it, you're, you're protecting yourself with the Seven of Wands. Then, no, they can't stop your new love. And if they do try, either way, they try once, twice, it doesn't matter. They're going to receive karma for that. And karma can come in so many different ways. People need to stop playing. It could come in so many different ways. And end up crying and on their knees. Begging God, please. Because something crucial happened in their life. And now they have to wonder. Like, oh my gosh. It's because I did that spell. Yeah. Especially against someone that no you just shouldn't do it period but someone was definitely playing with magic trying to bind you trying to keep you stuck don't want you to move on they want to they want you to return <laughs> psych that's never gonna happen ever right tell them that's never gonna happen you already moved on and showed it they because you walking away from it so good Wow, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open. Wait, let me read this right. <laughs> what? Um, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. Wow. Now that you are as now that you have asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. All right, Virgo, thank you so much for tuning in. If you want more readings, you can definitely join us in um, Patreon. Or you can just wait till next week until I upload again. Um, but until next time, blessings. All right, hey, Libra. Let's get into it. What is going on for Libra, Spirit? Please show us a message for Libra. Libra. Libra, 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 what 
what is up with these love spells? Libra, you may want to look at uh, Virgo and Cancer. But it's love spells coming out in these readings. All right, Libra, we have uh, <laughs> give it time. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. Love spell. You've been bewitched. Problems with addictions or gambling or finances. I feel like the addictions is doing spell work. Someone could be doing a lot of spell work on you. Or you, if you doing it. <laughs> but they're telling someone to give it time. Like maybe someone overly doing it or something. Like first of all, you shouldn't be doing it period. But this could be someone doing this on you. Show us a message for Libra. 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 Oh. Okay, I guess we're going to use these first. I just realized that. Show us a message for Libra. Libra. Three of Swords. Six of Wands. Someone is heartbroken due to some victories. Due to someone receiving some type of victory or something. Yeah, it's like someone feel burdened by someone's good news. Because maybe someone was trying to do love spells and it's, it's, maybe it's not working. Let's get more on the Three of Swords. Show us more on the Three of Swords for Lisa. Show us more on the Three of Swords. For Libra. Libra. Three of Swords for Libra. Clarify with death in reverse. Someone is heartbroken because they don't want they want someone to return. They want they don't want this ending. Okay? Because that's why it's in reverse. Like this is ending. This is not. This person is wanting someone to return wanting someone to come back they're heartbroken someone could be very heartbroken over a scorpio or a scorpio is heartbroken they could be doing love spells on you show us more on the six of wands six of wands clarify with the king of wands king of wands so i feel like it's a um mm. I feel like Libra. Either maybe you're cubs. You could be cubs with Virgo, or you could have Virgo. You could have. You can pass for someone I'm speaking to. You could have Libra rising. But um, it seems as if someone is heartbroken because someone look good. They're doing good. They're successful, and they're heartbroken because they want someone back but it looked like it's not happening and I feel like to give it time is more of your healing or this person healing from the situation because someone keep taking risks keep doing this keep doing this love spell love spell over and over and it's just like okay but someone needs to give themselves time to heal from this with knowing that this is not working like okay let it go give it up and heal that's what someone needs to do whether this is you or this person ten of wands show us more of ten of wands justice wanted to come out that's your energy three of wands in reverse yeah it just seemed like whatever someone was trying to bring someone back and it's not happening or at least not the way you want it to. Yes, yeah, unsuccessful. Six of Wands came out again, but this time in reverse due to this energy over here that, that I was speaking of. Yeah, it just seemed like um, someone could have been trying this for maybe some time. It could have been for the past three months or the past even three weeks or even six months, three to six months or something, but or three to six weeks. But it just seemed like it's not working because it's not meant to work. It's not meant to work. Someone want a passion new beginning with someone. Someone may 
miss the the passion, the intimacy, the love or whatever, but there was an ending and it's not coming back. <laughs> someone is very distant from someone. Maybe someone lives at a distance. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get more with this dead spirit. Show us a message for uh, Libra. Yeah, someone is definitely heartbroken. Over a Scorpio or a Scorpio is heartbroken over you. Or they could be a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Libra look like you're heartbroken. I don't know. Take it however it resonates. Show us more on this energy for Libra. Libra, clarify with the dragonfly. Be light-hearted find finding out things come into light adapt change and heal so you could be finding out like someone may have did a love spell on you or this person did a love spell on that person or you did a love like something like <laughs> i don't know but some 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 truth something that you're finding out darn it and it fell on the floor okay you have heartbroken yeah Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Show us more on this energy for Libra. We have the sword, rose, clarity, truth, revelation, um, protection, power, force, honor. Yeah. So it's some truth is coming to light here. About a situation, about someone doing spell work, or if it's not actual finding out due to the spell work, it's like someone is realizing. Um, I mean, this could be like if it's not like so much as in doing spell work, this could be someone they're a player or they they love bombed you, you know, and. This could be breaking your heart. You want this person to return, but they're not. Or they don't need to, and spirit could be, you know, keeping this person from you. Um, whoever this is, is very attractive or, you know, um, very successful or, or whatever they're doing. It looks good. But uh, someone needs to let go of addictions. Oof. We got codependent obsession, possession control, and has a block restraint. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over the shoulder of the other woman. It could be another woman. I'm not seeing it in this message. It could be the other man, however. But someone is doing, um, was doing some type of manipulation here. This could have caused the breakup. Someone could have um, did a love spell to cause you to come to them. Or you did this, or however. You know your situation. Place it however it resonates for you. If this is at all your situation. If it's not, just wait till next week. You know. Every message may not apply, of course. And if it don't, just let it fly. But, if this is, and, you know, you're being honest with yourself. Whether it's you doing it, or they're doing it. But it's definitely something being done, or was. So when it's heartbroken, that is not working. It's not, it's not, uh, it's like did someone did a love spell to have someone to come back to them and then you're not coming back. And someone could be waiting and waiting and waiting. Spirit like, uh, just work, give, give it time due to your healing to this person or to you. Give it time to heal. Not give it time for this spell to work, because no, we're not going to let it work. <laughs> like, something like that. All right, let's close this out. Spirit, please show us a message for Libra. What message do you have for Libra? All right, Libra. Have faith and hope, because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet. Yeah, they don't even want it to show in the reading because I don't even see. Only thing that could come, you know, that's about to come 
um, out of this situation due to the positivity is you gaining realization, okay? That truth. Uh, and then that, that also allows you to heal from a situation. So you could be realizing like this person was just, you know, love bombing you or whatever. But I'm really getting like someone was diving into spell work trying to bring you back and it's not working and they're hurt um or you're hurt i don't know take it however it resonates it's too general this is not a personal of course if this was personal i can tell you who it is when they doing it like i can tell you more detail on it but as far as this no this is way too broad so, but I hope you enjoyed or received some clarity from this message. If not, like I said, just look into um, the other ones. Um, the weekend messages. Also look into your other signs, you guys. Because your sun sign may not be your message this week. It may be your moon. It may be your rising. It may be your Venus. It may be your north node, you know. So always look into your other signs. And also look into the titles of the messages because your message may be there. Okay? All right, uh, moving on to Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. 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 Someone must be hungry. <laughs> uh, or it's just me. <laughs> hey, Scorpio. How you feeling? Show us a message for Scorpio. Could be dealing with a fire sign that is a narcissist okay it could be an aries leo sagittarius someone is way too full of themselves um we have challenges here make a decision work on the inner healing someone is not doing that they'll be back expect to hear from them soon um someone is expecting someone could be pregnant someone could be moving in with their partner or this is you uh you could be moving in with your partner Change your residence, moving in with your partner. Someone is expecting. So, I don't know. Either they're expecting. If they're expecting, y'all, and they coming to you to move in together. Like, what? <laughs> How is that? But, um. Someone could have had a, a former commitment with the earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Or this person could be in the middle of a connection. Of your connection. I don't know. What the heck? Let's get into it. Let's see more. Um, let's see more with this narcissist spirit. I mean, it's, it's basically showing. It says narcissist fire sign. So someone is dealing with the narc fire sign. Show us a message for Scorpio. Or they got a placement. Or one of them, the safer is you dealing with two fire signs. One of them could be the narc. The other one may not be. But you, the narc going to show the traits. You, you should know. <laughs> you should know who it is. Show us more on this narcissist. Show us more on this narcissist. Shoot, it could be you, Scorpio. You could be the narc. <laughs> Yeah, they're telling someone to move on, move away, or this fire sign may be moving away from an arc. That could be the case, too. Show us more on the Six of Swords. Because it do say moving in with your partner. Yeah, someone is coming out of these illusions. Oh. Mm-hmm. So maybe you knew that this person was in an illusion. You knew that this person was dealing with an arc. But they're just now figuring this out. Or they're just now finally taking action to move away from this from this situation. So someone is no longer in denial. Someone is no longer either in denial or just no longer in this uh, illusion. Okay. Shows more on the fire sign. So someone definitely could be, your partner could be moving away from a narcissist. That could be the case. Okay. Shows more on the fire sign. Fire sign. Why is this fire sign here? 
six of pentacles in reverse no equal give and take for some of you the narc could be the fire sign no equal give and take it's not it's not a, a fair balance like you may give more to them than they give to you this could be just energetically this could be communication wise okay and they're spying there's a lot of spying going on some of you is a gemini that could be spying show us more on the page of swords they want you to set stay your ground set boundaries with this person they definitely could be juggling you show us more on a um so it could be a gemini that could be juggling you dealing with multiple people or whatever um a fire sign is some imbalance here possibly because they're dealing with an art or dealing with someone that is stalking them this could be some, someone's mother baby mother show us more on the challenges The challenge is, is keeping this balance with you. If someone is wanting to move forward, but it's a blockage. Hmm. Show us more on this energy for Scorpio. So it seems like someone is coming out of a relationship, a connection here. To so either come towards you or you towards them, take it however. Show us more on this energy. Show us more on this energy for Scorpio. Uh, show more on the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah, someone is seeing something clearly now. Show us more on the Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah, someone is, you have new love. You have new love with this person or this person is realizing you're the new love. Um, but they do got a stalker on their hands or you do. Someone could be dealing with a cancer. Or someone's ex could be a Cancer or a Gemini. Show us more. Yeah, they see you as stability. They want to come towards you. They see you that you're well grounded or someone that they can build with or have something serious with. Because who, yeah. Because whoever this is, maybe they're about their business. They're about their money and they just, they want someone that's, you know, on the same page as them. Um, It looked like someone is wanting to come in quickly and heal it with you before it's too late. They may feel like they're running out of time. After they don't woke up from this narc that they're dealing with or been dealing with or have been trying to intrude on their connections or just intrude on them moving on now that they really realize who this person is or what's been going on they're wanting to uh, remove themselves from the situation show us more on this energy for Scorpio Scorpio the runner runner in a codependent relationship relationship fear of it of intimacy listening to ego so for some of you um this could be the narc that ran from you or this is the um person that's running from the narc take it however it could go both ways so you would know if you were dealing with the narc you would know if this person is dealing with the narc, it's a situation that they're having a hard time with getting out of, it's because they're a narcissist. And it, trust me, it's very hard to get out of a connection that where you're dealing with the narc. Show us more. You have wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection. So this person could have been married to this person. Or had a long-term connection or relationship with this person. Take a chance, risk. Someone is wanting, also I'm getting, like this person is maybe wanting to come in with the ring and marry you or take things to the next level. Or someone is seeing you as their wife or their husband. Like they want a long-term connection with you. Um, they're willing to take the risk now. So maybe in the past they wasn't. Or, you know, they could have been fearful of it. But it looked like they're wanting to take this risk with you now someone is really wanting a date someone is wanting to you know have something serious someone is tired of you know the the the, the playing the games type thing 
I don't know. Or just not taking it seriously. Especially knowing the connection with you. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change, change mind. Yeah, that's what I was getting. Like, change mind. Like, this person may have changed their mind and realized what they really want with you. And they're wanting something long term. So, not only they want to date you, they want to have a commitment with you. Um... Some of you, when this person returns, you may end up getting pregnant, and the, and it look like a move. You're gonna be moving together. For some, okay. For some, if it's you're not expecting a pregnancy, you could just be like, I mean, maybe you don't want no more children, or you're at the stage where you're not having any more children. Um, it could just be you and this person. You're they're they're coming back. Y'all coming back together, and it would be um you and this person. Uh, birthing new things together you know new ideas all right scorpio let's get a angel message here please show us a message for scorpio 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 have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yeah I definitely um feel that in the energy due to this change this shift that's happening in your love life this is definitely a love message um let's get one more Show us a message for Scorpio, Scorpio spirit, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, open your heart. Love is the highest energy of all. Let it in. Reaching out, expect a call or a text from your person of interest. Natural evolution. Let the situation unfold naturally. And healing connection. Your romance will transform your life. So you and this person could heal each other or you're both healers. And it's just very spiritual. Um, freedom. Healthy space and room to breathe. Yeah, someone is freeing themselves from a um, mark. All right. But that is it. Thank you so much, Scorpio. If you want more, you can join us over on Patreon. Um, if not, you can just wait till next week for a weekly message or the weekend message as well. All right. Until then, many blessings. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see. Here, please show us a message for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Thank you. Sagittarius spirit. Sagittarius. What else? They want you to manifest. Tell the universe what it is that you want. Distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. So you could live at a distance from your partner. Maybe you're manifesting this or you you need to manifest what it is that you're desiring out of this situation. It's saying caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. So maybe you need to have a, a, a truthful discussion. Um, you need to let go of the past. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. So, yeah, it's time to evolve and let go of past connections, okay? All right, let's see more. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Of course, this may not be your message, everyone. So just take it however it resonates for you. If um, if not, look into your other signs. Also look at the titles of each zodiac sign because your message may be there. In the comments. Alright, show us a message for manifest. Show us more. You could be, you're overthinking. That's why they're saying, like, manifest, go in prayer. You could be overthinking, having anxiety, kind of stressing out, sleepless nights. What's going on here? 
You're anxious. It's like you're anxious for something new. The emperor it could be an Aries or just this, like a, maybe this is you, like as a boss. Let, let me get more on the emperor. No, we're going to see that in a minute. Let's get more on caution. Caution due to ten of pentacles and a chariot. This could be a family. Something about a family business. Or a, a business that you created. Like you need to be cautious. Someone may have a transportation business or something. Mm. Someone need to be cautious with the, the money. Or something is going on. Hold on. Show us more on a um, Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords for Sagittarius. Nine of Swords. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Seven of Wands. So you're stressed out because you're blocked or something is being blocked. You feel like what you try to manifest is being blocked or something. Show us more on the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? death someone could be passing or maybe a father yeah someone could be trans trans transitioning yeah change a major change is coming in this could be a father figure or aries of any um it could be male or female but they're at a distance or maybe they I mean, the distance could resonate with this person. Maybe they live at a distance cur currently, or they have, or. They're telling someone to be cautious with the family, or with. Show us more on the Ten of Pentacles and the Chariot. Something about like an Amalan. So someone could be. Show us more on the Chariot and the. Um, Ten of Cups in reverse. Whatever this is, is not making someone happy. This is um like an unfortunate event. Show us more. Five of Wands. There could be some conflict. Some type of rivalry. Competition. A star in reverse. Someone is losing hope. Yeah, due to healing. Someone may see something clearly now, like, and realizing, like, there's there's no way that's going to happen. Like, maybe they was trying to have victory with something, but it's not happening. Someone got clarity due to a lover. A lover could have been trying to manipulate you or manip manipulate this person, uh, um, someone is not to be trusted. It could be a Gemini or a Cancer. I just feel like this energy is, they could be talking about you behind your back or trying to, um, it's like trying to get others to, to, to look at you in a negative way or come against you. Show us more. The Emperor in reverse. It could be an Aries. Someone is losing control because of this group organization that they were in. That was trying to, or this could be a friend group trying to come against you. Don't let these people, this person in your home. Or they, show us more. Oh, Lord. Okay. Your energy, Queen of Wands. What else? Two of Pentacles. It's like you're trying to balance things out after losing control over a situation. Or this person is. It definitely could be a, a fire sign, an Aries or Leo, or a Gemini or Cancer. 
like someone is losing power due to deception in the past. Someone was trying to have control over you or over someone and that maybe it did happen that way. Maybe the control they did have that, but then it's lost. I mean, like someone is losing losing that power. Show us more on the uh wheel of fortune. The world. Yeah, something is definitely coming to a close. Someone may even want yeah, I told you it's deception here. Seven of Swords. I just felt that. Like someone um was trying to play on you. Trying to um mm -hmm. I don't know if this was someone you dated, someone you had a family with, someone this could be a friend, lover, or it could be anyone. For a lot of you, this was a lover. Something is faded to change here. Um, but I feel like someone could be kind of like... Oh... Um, Someone is about to surrender. Someone that is not going to have a choice but to surrender to whatever this change is. It's like someone must come out of the, the dark to see the light. Someone must come out of this isolation to make this change. It could be some fear. Someone could be fearful of protection, feel fearful that they don't have enough protection. But if someone is protected here. Someone, grandfather or father figure could be protecting them. This person could be deceased. I just heard brother, someone brother as well. But a change is definitely going to come in for you. And this change is forcing you to surrender. Like, put your hands up, let this go. Okay, just let, let whatever this is go with the flow. All right. Someone may need to stop drinking like alcohol or slow down or something. <clears throat> Show us a message for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Clock needs time, t need time, takes time, end time, cycles, time to heal, progress. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, growth. So there def there's definitely a relationship that's about to um, move forward but there's also something else that you need to let go someone you need to let go of yeah your your spirit guides are guiding you they're talking to you they're telling you they're talking to you here yeah endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation with the coffin ending to a love situation yeah Don't sabotage love. That's why you need to heal your heart. So you won't sabotage this love, love um, situation. You do look like you're coming into a union. Someone could be fighting a battle with this. Like having a... This could be um, self-conflict. Like in your head. Like I don't know. Maybe it's the fear of a commitment or... Fear of giving your all to just, yeah, a commitment. Giving your all to one person. I'm not sure if it is, but it looked like it is. The higher fan, the high priestess. Someone also could have came, came against the wrong person. So someone is realizing how um, 
highly protected you are. And someone was trying to um, fight against you, whatever. Yeah. That could be also the energy of someone needing to surrender. I don't even know what to call this. <laughs> My... I don't know. I just feel like mainly to be cautious on how you move. Like how you move forward. How you move out of a situation. It's like, um, especially with all this conflict and uh, competition and like, I don't know, you may have a, you got, you need to let go of some friends. Certain people is not your friends. Okay. Everybody's not your friend. I mean, Sagittarius, I, I, you should know that. But apparently, I don't know, you, you slipped or something because you got some friends that's not your friend. They talking about you. Okay. They're not your friend. They're not talking about you in a good way. All right, that is it for you, Sagittarius. Um, if you want more, you can definitely join us in Patreon. Uh, that information is in the description. If not, you can just wait till next week for a message that is totally fine or your weekend message. But the weeklies will be more information like I just gave. The weekend is just, you know, this weekend, Saturday, Sunday. But um, until next time, many blessings. Capricorn, Capricorn spirit, please show us. Yeah, Capricorn. That's what to say, huh? Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Look like you let. Go. Yes, I feel that with the let go. <laughs> I feel like you letting go of a boo thing. Used to be a boo thing. I don't know, whoever this is. Um, It could have been challenging, but it looked like you're releasing it. And those challenges is becoming easier and easier with the challenges in reverse. Vacation, maybe you and this person talked about taking trips or you did. Or you, yeah, you turned them plans off or you turned them down or something. Or you said, okay, well... This ain't happening no more. I don't know what changed your mind, but um, we have cycles. Karma, we have fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. So you're closing out cycles so you can start something new. And then with the let go, make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. So, yeah. Yeah, reading very specific. All right, Capricorn. Let's see more. Show us more on the, on the energy for Capricorn Spirit. Capricorn. 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 Show us more on this energy for Capricorn. Show us more on challenges. Let's get more on that. Challenges for Capricorn. Why is challenges here? In reverse yeah okay so it could have been challenging for you to finally just like completely let go walk away from the situation um but you did it okay so the challenges end up becoming easier for you so you're choosing to be single uh independent leave this situation behind show us more on vacation show us more on this vacation in reverse <laughs> so, you said what you said you like look I said what I said. Okay, it could be with the air sign, Aquarius, with Gemini. Show us uh, moral cycles with this fate and karma. All right, the chariot in reverse. I just feel like, yeah, you you can you came to the conclusion that this isn't going anywhere. <laughs> There's no progress. It's, it's stalled with the chariot in reverse. Um, so you, you had the urge, you got the urge to just let this go, to give up. Um, and 
and clearly with the cycles it says fake karma something ending um something beginning so you came to realize like no this this can't be it so i'm gonna end this so i can get my new beginning <laughs> yeah passionate new beginning too it could have been competition maybe this person was involved with other people or um whatever this was okay but you you like i don't gotta fight over the <laughs> Like, what is, what is that? No. I don't do that over here. All right, shows. Um, something is being stopped, though. I feel like whatever this is, it's no forward movement with the connection. <laughs> Show us more. Um, oh, wait. Wrong deck. Show us more on the Nine of Pentacles or... Capricorn, some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, a Virgo, or an Air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Show us more on the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles for Capricorn. Show us more on the Nine of Pentacles for Capricorn. Justice in reverse. Yeah, because you feel like this just wasn't, it was no justice, it was not fair. It was definitely an imbalance here. So you're choosing self. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, some of you could be dealing with the Libra. Show us more on this justice in reverse though. Some of you could have worked with this person. Um, I don't know. But you're you're standing your ground with your decision. It, it looked like. To focus on working with self. Like I, I, I rather... You know, um, what's the saying? Um, I could do bad all by myself. I could do good all by myself. Okay. <laughs> like, I could do better by myself. Show us more with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. The world and the Empress. Someone may have made it clear, like, look, you got to end this with your baby mother or, or this Taurus or Libra, whatever, but... I feel like, um, I don't know, someone could have been playing games with you. They may have had a baby mother, or but you've seen it. You've seen it, and you finally just cut it off. You said, uh, I'm good. I'm good on you. So you walked away. Um, this could be a baby father. like, or This could be, if you're a male Capricorn, this could be your own baby mother playing games with you or whatever, or whoever this is. Whoever it is, you're, you woke up to it. And you're deciding to choose self and walk away. <laughs> Let's get more on this chariot. Chariot in reverse. Chariot in reverse. This person could be going through some karma. Ooh, wee. And they're angry. Some of you is a Sagittarius. Someone is angry or a Gemini. Someone is angry. Because there's no forward movement with you or they're not getting their way with this situation. This could have been a situation once they kick and eat it too. But someone is receiving a lot of karma and they could just be angry because things is hitting them. Because of the wrong that they did to you. The choices that they made, okay? Someone could be losing things as well. Someone could have just recently lost the vehicle, lost their transportation, lost their... Um, their stability of some sort, some type of way. But that's someone's karma. Uh, um, it could be, it could be a Capricorn. But you know, we all go through karma in life. You gotta go through certain things to realize the changes that you need to make. Um, but in this case, this looked like someone that someone was dating, and. You spoke on how you feel or what you wanted out of the situation and what you're not going to deal with. And this person may have went against that or they didn't take you too seriously. So you had to close the cycle out. You closed it. You ended it. This person may be coming to you or trying to come to you like, I closed it out. I'm not dealing with it no more or whatever the case. But uh, they are. It's not completely closed. Um... Maybe because they're not setting boundaries. If they ended the connection, they could have ended it, but it's still not boundaries. There were it could have is it'll be a brand new start with you. 
So whatever this is, whether it's another person or it's just the way this person just in the, I don't know. It's you. It wasn't flowing your boat. Whatever this is, it just wasn't. And you let it go. And this person is angry because you let them go. You're not, you don't want to deal with them anymore. So it's some heavy spying watching. This person could be spying, uh, watching you, however that is. It could be watching you on social media. It could be watching you if they know where you live. They watching your home. They driving by. But look like someone can't. Someone don't have any forward movement. They may be stuck. I don't know. Maybe something wrong with their car. That could be their karma too. Like, no, nah, don't go stalk Capricorn. We're going to make sure your car don't work. <laughs> like, it could be something like that. But, yeah, someone is being blocked. Blocked. Capricorn, this is you blocking them. King of Pentacles. You blocking this person. The front and back. Like, no, I'm good. <laughs> we good over here. All right, so yeah, it looked like you gained your strength out of this situation. Like, no, nah, I can't deal with you. This person lie a lot too. Show us a message for Capricorn, or they just had lied a lot in the past. I don't know, but they're angry. They're not happy. They're definitely imbalanced. You got Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting hesitation. All right, Capricorn. You felt it in your soul. It must be something better. Because this ain't it. And sure enough, Spirit like, yep. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation. Because the way you shut this down in this reading is like, nah, I I'm good. I, I got to let this go. Show us more. Some of you, this could be like you setting boundaries with the child's parent in order to move on into a new connection. In order for it to flow, you know, healthy or whatever. So someone has to set boundaries with someone. Um, or this, this is what you're choosing to do. We got meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. A lot of you, you are closing out a cycle for sure. You about to meet new people, mingle, enjoy your freedom, your, your single life. Um, need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal, progress. Yeah, and I feel like you're in your healing phase right now. I don't feel like you're in a rush to get into something. I feel like you're like, okay, I'm just, that ain't work. I really hope for the best, but it ain't work. So let me focus on me. And, you know, I do want love. And when it comes, great. But it's, it's, I don't feel like that's like your main focus right now. I feel like your focus right now is your self-care. You pouring into yourself. You know, um, or at least that's what you need to do, okay? Let's get an angel message. All right, spirit, show us a message for Capricorn. 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 What the? All right, y'all got two. No conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help, guide, and comfort you. And you have, I am an angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will have happen. Have faith. So, yeah, some of you could be focusing on yourself, your money, you know. Um, but they're telling you. Just have faith. Okay? All right. Things is changing for someone, for sure. Um, if this is you going through your own karma, then, you know, let it ride through. Just learn the lesson so you don't have to go through it again. For a lot of you, this person is. But someone is definitely angry. Um, speaking of, before I move on, Spirit, please show us one more on the... Um, temperance in reverse I just feel like someone just feel imbalanced because things is not moving forward not going how they want it to go someone could be frustrated show us more on the temperance it could be this empress a mother mother figure baby mother 
or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Things are just going slow. It's like slow, someone is stressing out because it's it's like someone wants to um, come back together with you, but you you're not allowing it. So it's frustrating though. All right, that is it, you guys. Thank you so much, Capricorn. If you want to join us in Patreon for more, you could definitely do that. Um, if not, you can just wait till next week. Weekly message. Um, I will be providing it like this again. Um, so always looking at the comments for the timestamp and your the title or whatever. But if this message wasn't your message at this time, look into your other signs. Whether it was or not, you always want to look into your other signs. And also the title of the messages because the title may resonate with you. Um, and you may want to check it out because you may have a message there. All right. But stay tuned to next week. Also the weekend readings. Y'all have a weekend reading coming up too. So yeah. Many blessings. Moving on. All right. Hey, Aquarius. Let's see what is going on for you. Spirit, please show us a message for Aquarius. 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 Spirit. All right, there could be some electronic issues going on um, or communication issues between you and someone. Someone could have problems with addictions, gambling, or their finances. Someone could be an air sign. It could be you or you could be dealing with another air sign. It's definitely communication issues going on here. Someone could be expecting a pregnancy, a, a, a child. Someone may need to communicate this to you. Someone may have took a risk. Yeah. And that could be why it's communication issues. Because, I don't know, I feel like someone nervous about expressing something to you, talking to you, telling you something, or whatever. Um, I feel like someone is all up in their head. Let's get more on this energy for Aquarius. Aquarius. I feel like someone fumbled you. Show us more on the um on this energy for Aquarius. Show us more on the communication issues. Show us more on the communication and electronic issues. Yeah, it's like someone is not, someone is choosing to just walk away, and not communicate. Show us more on gambling. Gambling. Someone is a someone could just hustle for work. They're gambling. They're not. It's something is not. Um, there's no security. Like a, it's not a sure thing. It's like someone. It's someone. Yeah, someone could be hustling um, for their job, picking up gigs, things like that. But it looks like someone is doing well at what they're doing. You could be very good at what you do. Show us more for Aquarius. Aquarius. Yeah, you could be trying to balance your money out. Balance your time out. Yeah, someone could be expecting a child. It could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or Taurus. But something is closing with this situation. An ending is happening. It could be happening swiftly. I don't know. Maybe someone is ending things with the child's mother or child's father, however this is. Someone could be ending things with the with that situation. Um let's see more on the eight of cups. Eight of cups for Aquarius. Show us more on the eight of cups for Aquarius. Eight of Cups. the cups the star so someone is walking away in order to heal from this situation eight of pentacles 88 could be significant for someone as well so 
someone is spying on your work on yeah they're watching you faithfully show us more on the two of pentacles or you are show us more on the two of pentacles the devil someone could be obsessing over balance balancing their money out like you're putting too much focus on money at this time or this person is that's all that's never good that's never good you know, yeah, you could stay focused on, on, you know, your priorities and, you know, okay, I got to get this money to do this. But it's like too much focus on like money. I got to have it. I got to get it. Money, 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 money. And they're like, okay, what about love? What about your life? What about your health? What about like you got to find a balance with everything, not just with one. Show us more on the devil. Show us more on the hermit. Oof. Someone could be fighting demons. Like what? Um, Five of Wands. Oof. King of Wands in reverse. Someone could be a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Ah. Uh -huh. Someone could be very, like, very competitive and jealous. You may need to release this person. Someone could be a Virgo or Capricorn. But yeah, someone is definitely very jealous and competitive. And they could be trying to balance their money out in order to come towards you. What? Alright. I don't know. It's, it just seemed like someone is going through something. And but they're they're it look like their goal is to make things balance with you too after they balance out their money. So they could be like focus on their money, 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 money. Maybe their job is very competitive. Then this person get jealous if they don't get like I don't know, it, it may not be <sighs> or let's say temperamental. Okay. Someone definitely could have a temper when things don't go how they want it to go or when they don't get what they want you know it's like a an adult temper tantrum type thing and this may be internally this may not even be like broadcasted to everyone this person could just be like uh why the heck how how they get this and i didn't or why this is like i don't know it just that's what it seemed like but it, it looked like someone is trying to balance out their money. And it's like someone is in a rush. In a rush to get something done. If Someone also may be spying, trying to see, like, if you are dealing with another person. They're very, whoever this energy is, is very territorial. They're very, um... Very obsessive. Show us more on this energy for Aquarius. Aquarius. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Aquarius. Ending. That's what I was getting to. Like with this energy here. Like someone is all up in their head. They're having. They're arguing with themselves. Like. Um, but we have a coffin. Endings bring new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation. What else? Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. So some of you, you're coming into a union after this ending with someone. Or this person is ending something with someone to come towards you. Take it however. But we got un unconditional love, self-love, one is passion, affection, attraction. I like you. Um, someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting, wants a date. All right, so... It do look like an ending of a connection to begin a new one. That could be what why someone is so focused on their money or their work. Because they're trying to hurry up and get out of a situation to come towards you. Or this is you doing this. It's like the thought of you being with someone else, it angers them. Like, they don't want to know that you're dealing with someone else, but yet they're... 
they're definitely spying, they're watching, they're definitely investigating you. <laughs> trying to make sure, like, trying to see who you give into. This person is manifesting a, a new beginning with you. All right. But whoever this is, is no communication. Like, y'all not talking? Like, there's no communication going on here. Um, if it is, it's very little. And they're not expressing everything. They're not telling you everything. It's like someone is, is about to just take that risk, though, to end things with someone to come towards you. So someone could definitely be in another connection. Or they got to end a job situation in order to come towards you if it's not a relationship as far as a romantic type thing. Show us more for uh, Aquarius. Aquarius. Yeah, there's definitely some communication issues. It's a lot of watching, though. <laughs> no talking and watching. <laughs> um, you have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. Okay. Um, oh, also at the bottom of the deck, I don't know. Some of you could be married, but I am an angel of marriage and I am assisting you right now. You could be married to this person or this person is married. Um, or you and this person is coming. So you and someone is coming together and you're going to form a union. You're going to, because we do got an engagement ring. So you could be coming together to get married but a lot of you need to open up your communication like you you are air sign okay something is going on here where there's lack of there's lack of communication it could be more on the other person part it could be on your part and in your personal life you could just be um maybe you're holding back with communicating um some of you could be in a in a workforce of communications um and you need to continue doing that. That's basically that's where your gift, your talent is. Because they say you have an important life purpose involving communication in the arts. Okay, so however that is for you, you could be led out of a work situation because they're guiding you towards your purpose, your life purpose. And for some of you, you may not understand why. You know, maybe you're going through a transition right now in your work life, and that could be why because they're trying to lead you towards communication or the arts of some sort um as far as someone not everyone of course but take it however it resonates some of you could already be in there and maybe you're just i don't know you gave up on and not i don't feel like anyone gave up here i just feel like you you either shut down or you're not opening up enough okay if you are in communication so some sort someone could be in music okay Or you express yourself in other ways. It's, it's because communication on the arts, that could be any type of expression. So this could be like someone could be an artist. But that is your message at this time. Aquarius, please take whatever resonate and leave whatever don't. Um, if you want more, you can join us over in Patre ugh, Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> Or you can just wait till next week. Um, but of course, in Patreon, I give so much more uh, information over there. And also, you have a weekend reading coming over here. So you can stay tuned for that, the weekend message, and next week if you can't join in Patreon at the time. But um, until next time, Aquarius, many blessings. All right, Pisces. Here, please show us a message for Pisces. 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 Uh-oh. Pisces. Pisces. All right, we have commitment. Things are getting serious, Pisces. All right, what is this commitment toward? Show us more on this energy. Yes, luck is on your side at this time. Show us more for Pisces. We have Mercury retrograde, so there could be some communication issues. What the heck? Um, it could be electronic issues. Mm. 
someone is being advised to move on from a fire sign. They're too risky. They Okay. Something. Let's get more. Show us more on this commitment. Show us more on commitment for Pisces. Things are getting serious. Show us more on commitment for Pisces. Pisces. Show us more on commitment. Maybe you want a commitment. But someone could be, maybe you're holding back communication. Or this person is. Show us more on commitment. The world. So maybe a commitment has ended. And that's why they're saying move on with the, at the bottom of the deck. It's time to close the door so another door can open. Um, show us more. Show us more on yes. Whoa. Yes, it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to be more blunt and outspoken due to your feelings, due to this situation. Basically, take a bold action. Act, like, address the problems, whatever the problems is and why you're ending it. Show us more on this uh, communication and uh, electronic issues. Show us more on this communication and electronic issues. Show us more on this. We have the sun. Okay, so it looks like that will be healing. That's not going to be long term. Like as far as that, that's why they're telling you to heal. In order to heal this, you need to take action. You need to be bold and speak. Be more outspoken with how you feel about this. Not in an aggressive, uh, cruel way. Just express how you feel. You know. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. Some of you could be pregnant. You could be finding out that you're pregnant. Some of you could be pregnant with a baby boy. Some of you, it's a girl. Some of you are manifesting a girl. Show us um, more on this energy spirit. Show us more on this energy for uh, Pisces. Let's get more on the world. Clarify the world. The world is clarified with the Four of Cups. <sighs> yeah, someone someone is disappointed because something ended with, with... Either you ended it, they ended it, however it ended. And, and someone is disappointed because it's like... Someone is still wanting to give an offer or... Or still want... It's like someone is missing you and wanting to like possibly give this another chance or you are but it look like that cycle has closed out fully show us more on the knight of swords hold on show us more on the knight of swords knight of swords clarify with the five of cups so maybe someone had the opportunity to, to speak up to be outspoken but they missed it they had that chance and they missed it and now someone is in the five of cups like god darn it i missed my chance sad regretful so they may have missed the opportunity with you. Show us more with the sun. Judgment. Yeah, some of you could be having a child. Look at that. It's a baby in there. Okay, some of you could be coming together and having a child with someone else. So it looks like a past person is pretty much regretful and due to them not speaking up and expressing themselves or whatever. It could be a Gemini. It could be a Scorpio, Cancer. Capricorn or any fixed sign. Um, and yeah. So some of you could be um, coming into connection with someone uh, where you feel more vocal with, where you can express your feelings with. It could be a Virgo or someone with Virgo and air placement. So that would be Virgo and Libra. They could be on a cusp. Or they have Libra placements. Um, someone could be wanting to possibly keep this child or pregnancy a secret. Or surprise someone. If it's a surprise, <laughs> dang, it just came out in the reading. <laughs> but, um, mm. So it looked like an ending to a connection. Someone is grieving that ending of a connection with you because someone is moving on and starting a new life with someone else. 
it's basically to sum it up that's what it is and someone needs to move on either from you or you from them show us a message for pisces someone could be happy um renewing a connection with someone or just starting a new life um someone could be dealing with a, a leo or a gemini i mean gemini it could be someone that it's sad over you, but it could be a Scorpio or a Leo that you could be coming together with or happy with or or the other signs I mentioned. Take it however. Twin flames, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. So you're a good match with this new person, whoever this person is that you're coming into connection with. But then we have a karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So you could have let go of this other person and realized that they were karmic, you know, because they weren't showing you no type of stability. They didn't show you that, you know, you are the focus. You are the one. Like, yeah, they. but now they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken because you're putting your attention and time into someone who is giving you what you wanted with them, what they didn't give to you or something like that. Yeah, that's how it works, basically. So we have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving, affection, falling in love. Yeah, so this connection is more giving and receiving. The other connection was just a karmic. We have snake, competition, clever. I mean, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman or the other man. Okay. But you're ascending now, ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, New phase, preparing for union. Yay! And that's good for you, Pisces. Look like a happy new beginning, too. Very happy. Show us a message for um, Pisces. Pisces. Pisces spirit. All right, Pisces, we have your desired outcome will occur, will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen because it's happening. they saying just, you know, let divine timing work itself out. Um, also, Pisces, you have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, or parents and children. Ooh, good. So some of you, you may love children or you work with children or um, this is what you desire to do. They're telling you that it's your life purpose. So awesome. Um, that is it. Pisces, if you want to join us in Patreon for more messages and so much more things that I give over there, you could definitely join us there. If you can't, you can always just wait till next week for your weekly message um or uh your weekend message i'll be providing that this weekend but other than that you guys have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day and many blessings